Hello everyone, this is week four of machine learning Zoom Camp, and in this week we will talk about evaluation metrics for classification. So in the previous week, in the previous session, we uh, talked about uh, germ prediction and uh, you know, we built a model, we used logistic regression for scoring customers, um, existing customers and assigning them a probability of this customer leaving the company. Well, we trained the model and then our accuracy, the accuracy for this model was 80%. And in this session, we will try to find out what does it actually mean? Like, is it a good accuracy? Is it a good score or not? And are there other ways of evaluating binary classification models? So we will continue using the same example. We will keep using the churn prediction model and the model we trained previously. This is the notebook we will use. And here I already put all the code from the previous week that is needed for training the model. So we have this train test split, dictionary vectorizer, logistic regression, all the pre-processing. Um, and here we train a model and then uh, this model is 80% uh, accurate. So this is what we did in the previous uh, week. And in this week, as I said, we will look at this number, accuracy, and compare it uh, with a baseline model and see how good this number is. Like it will answer the question if 80% is good or not. Then we will look at different uh, type of errors. So with accuracy, we look at all predictions, correct and incorrect, but we will uh, look at different types of errors, different types of correct decisions. Um, so some type of errors could be that we sent, uh, we think that a customer is churning, but they are not or we think a customer is not churning, but they are, um, things like this. And we will see how to visually arrange, uh, how to put uh, these numbers in a table that is called the confusion table. Then we'll call about precision and recall, which are good evaluation metrics that are very useful for uh, binary classification problems. So we will talk about them. And then we'll talk about uh, ROC curves. The ROC is uh, receiver operator characteristics. So this gives us a way to evaluate a model, the, the scores, not the predictions. So if uh, you think about accuracy, so in accuracy, we were evaluating hard predictions, whether we think a customer is churning or not. But with rockers, we will be able to evaluate the quality of soft predictions, uh, our probabilities. And then uh, the rock curve, uh, this is a curve that we plot, but there is a metric that we can derive from uh, rock curves called area under the rock curve, which uh, one of the most popular, popular binary classification metrics. We will cover it in uh, more details here. And then we will finish this week by talking about cross-validation, which is a way of validating your model. So previously we were just holding out a part of data and used it for validation. So cross-validation is a bit more involved approach, but it has uh, advantages and disadvantages. And we will talk about that in this lesson. So that's the plan for this week. And in the next lesson, uh, in the next lesson, we will uh, look at accuracy and uh, discuss if 80% is good or not. See you soon.